What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to export, package, build, however you want to call it, your game. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and set all the things that, you, that we need to basically export the, our build. So we're gonna go up into platforms, I'm gonna go into packaging settings. So the first thing that we want to change is the build configuration. So in here, you're gonna set it into, um, well, your tired um, build configuration. So for example, if you're making a development build just for you and your team to test, you will set this into development. But of course, if you're uh, making the final version of your game and finally shipping, well, you will change into shipping. So this will basically depend on what you are aiming for. Then the staging directory is another thing that you have to uh, go ahead and set up, which is basically just the um, the path, the target um, folder that the you know the build will go ahead and export. In my case, I just go ahead and set that. that. Now, one more thing on this uh, page over here is the full rebuild. Um, I recommend for uh, you know taking this when you're making the final version of, of shipping your game, um, just because it will make sure that everything is just rebuilt, just in case you know there's always some things that may got missing maybe when you package a product sometimes. So I recommend doing that. But of course, if you're gonna make quick um, development builds, you can go ahead and check that. But in my case, I like it just on uh, for yeah, just more safety, I guess. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and go up here into Pride and Maps and Modes. Uh, what you want to do is change the game default map. And this is basically the map that the users will uh, see first when they open the game. So in my case, I have just left the third person map because I yes, this is an example Pride. But if you were to have a main menu in here, you go ahead and plug in your main menu. Okay, so another thing that we want to do is go into supported platforms and you want to go ahead and only select the ones that you want. This is not really important as later on we are gonna export into a selected platform, but it's always good to have it nice and organized. It's just the platform that you want. Okay, so another thing they want to do is go into the description. And now I suggest just uh, filling up the company name, the version, they're gonna export the project, the, I mean, the product name, you want to change it up and change the product thumbnail. Now, this is not the, for example, the game icon or the, um, are the game settings really of the build? This is just of the pride or the editor when you open up from Epic Games Launcher or whatever. But I do recommend having it all set up. Uh, this is just you know because it will be better, okay, for the long term. Anyway, so now we're gonna go into um into the platform window. So let's go down into platforms, and you see we have Windows. Of course, if you're gonna export to Mac, you will go and select iOS or whatever you want. But I'm gonna, guess I'm gonna go into Windows, and of course you have rendering settings to change, like direct text and stuff. But the the things that I'm gonna cover in this tutorial is this editor splash, the game splash, and now yes, the game icon. So you go ahead and click in three dots, and then uh, change the uh, the image into your according game one. Okay, um, and you see the dimensions too over there, so you can go ahead and just make an image with exactly what you need. Okay, so that's pretty much all the settings covered, main settings, uh, the core ones for just exporting your, your game. So now what we're going to do is go up here into platforms, and in here is basically where you're going to go ahead and export your game and stuff. You're going to go into Windows, or you know your selected target. Um, what we're going to do is, well, we can use the part setting, um, the default one, which is set shipping, which is the one that we uh, selected before in settings, or you can manually actually change it from here. But anyway, because it's just shipping, it's okay. I'm gonna use the prior one. Of course, you can change it. And then we have to click this magic button, which is package project. Go ahead and click that, and this will open once again the folder that we press our destination, which is set up in the settings. So you don't have to manually find it every time that you build. But now we can go ahead and just select a folder. Now you will see a little message over here. So now we can uh, show the output log, and now you can see the full. Um, things in the background exporting your game so now it's just time to wait okay it might take a while it might be very quick but you just have to wait depending on of course how many assets you have how big is your product etc it will depend on a lot of things so then after a while you will get a pop-up over here saying that the package 
was completed so then you can go ahead and open the folder and then you will see a bunch of folders and then and dot exe with your game name and your game icon and then you can go ahead and double click and open it in my case i'm not going ahead and showing it because it's literally taking the ages it's taking more than 20 minutes i really need to upgrade the pc but i'm not like it's really it doesn't have a lot of this project it just has like the mannequin and stuff you know but anyway um i'm gonna leave the tutorial here if you found it helpful and, and useful i really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials this one so you want to go ahead and check them out now yes with all said bye bye